update four on Cyclone Inawa, which is a category one cyclone on the Saffir Simpson Hogan wind scale with winds of 85 miles an hour and a pressure of 967 millibars. A green alert is in effect in Madagascar in anticipation of the storm at 3 p.m. UTC March 5th. It's at 14.0 degrees south, 55.4 degrees east, and the storm is expected to move towards the southwest and then towards Madagascar, probably making landfall there as a significant cyclone category 2, maybe even category 3 by the time it gets there, and then it will move inland and weaken slowly over the next few days. There are hints that it could even regenerate on the other side of Madagascar in around five days' time. Right now, though, it's 143 miles northeast of the very small Tromlin island of Mauritius, 349 miles east of Antalaha, Madagascar, the closest city. It's a stage three on the CDPS scale. Significant damage is possible as a result. Obviously, it's already got hurricane force winds, uh, and let's see what happens over the next few days as a storm moves towards Madagascar. You can see that the effects will probably be felt on Tuesday at the latest, and then hurricane force conditions will be felt somewhere along the coast of Madagascar. This is just indicative, and then possibly towards the capital, Antananarivo, as a tropical storm on late Tuesday or early Wednesday. That's where the storm's expected to go. Let's take a look at the sea surface temperatures right now. Currently pretty warm, 28 or 29 degrees Celsius, perhaps one or two pockets of 30 degrees Celsius off the coast of eastern Madagascar, which will certainly keep the storm going pretty nicely. It will certainly give the storm some fuel. Um, looking at the wind shear graphic, again, it's riding a line of high wind shear to the north, uh, and wind shear is increasing over Madagascar, but there is a a uh, low wind shear pocket directly to the storm's southwest. So if it does move southwesterly, it's going to have a pretty decent time. But if it does move more northerly, as earlier models were indicating, it might have a more tougher time of it. Uh, there's the latest uh, image of the storm. As you can see, the eye has come out since the last update and uh, the storm may now be on the road to intensifying pretty, in, um, pretty uh, rapidly over the next few hours. I'll obviously wait to see what happens and we'll keep you updated um, as time permits. Uh, but the storm appears at this point to be on the road to potential intensification towards that major hurricane status. It'll be the first storm to make landfall on the eastern coast of Madagascar as a major, if it does so, since Giovanna of 2012. Elsewhere in the tropics we have this Cyclone Blanche which is a uh, tropical storm, almost mid-range, 45 miles an hour now, moving towards the Kimberley coast. It's going to make landfall in around 12 hours' time, so time is running out for it to develop over very warm waters, 30 or 31 degrees Celsius, but wind shear is um, pretty um, high and is going to affect the storm adversely, we expect, um, sooner rather than later. Uh, but certainly you can see those flare-ups occurring as has been the case ever since that storm was born. Well, let's take a look at the numbers. We're at, uh, we're at eight storms total, five tropical storms and three category one hurricane equivalent cyclones and that one tropical depression we had in the West Pacific earlier this year. As you can see, there's the averages at the top from 1960 to 2016, a long way to go yet, um, but certainly a lot of numbers yet to be filled. We have eight, of course, tropical storms, tropical cyclones in total um, in 2017. There they are, and uh, a long way to go yet till we get to 1900, which had 31. But I don't think that'll be too difficult to beat eventually. We'll get there at some point, even if this is the quietest year since 1931 so far. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.com with its tracker uh, at your service. You can find us also on YouTube if you're not there already. Subscribe if you haven't there. You can also find us on Facebook, search Force 13, and it's the same for Twitter, at Force 13 is the handle if you'd like to get in touch with us on those platforms. You can also find Fool 13 on Skype, F O L 13, and at extension 9094 on Discord for tropical weather chat.